Let me show you a, a de heat streak demonstration with a small piece of O1 tool steel. I have here a small piece of O1 tool steel. I have a magnet to prove that it's magnetic now and it won't be when it's glowing bright red. I have a small can of peanut oil. I like peanut oil because it has the highest flash point of all the common household oils. I don't like using petroleum oils because they smell terrible and I can't believe that's healthy. And so peanut oil is the one. Uh, I have a propane torch. This is actually a MAP torch, but you can, regular propane torch on a piece of steel this small usually works okay. I prefer using the oxyacetylene, but we're not in the shop today, so I'm going to use this. I also have a, this is the, the home shop Rockwell tester. We can test to verify that I got it properly hardened uh, by using a file. Files are consistently extremely hard and we're, we'll, we'll make sure that this is hardened when we're done. Uh, you can tell the file will bite and file it when it's not hardened and it'll skid on it when we're done. So I'm going to, oh, uh, by the way, this is, there, there are inherent dangers in doing this if you decide you actually want to try to do this yourself. You're using a uh, open flame, uh, I'm doing this indoors, which is probably not at all good for my marriage. Uh, they, we're going to have uh, some oil that, that is potentially flammable, although I don't think this small amount will catch on fire with this little tiny heat thing. But if you dunk a big hot thing in there, there will be flames. Be careful. Watch where you know, wear gloves uh, if you're doing larger pieces. And certainly wear eye protection. And uh, I keep a fire extinguisher nearby. I prefer to, to uh, have a CO2 one because if I do need it, it doesn't make a huge mess like uh, the dry chemical ones do. So if you ever see one of those at a yard sale, you should get it. So we're starting here. The first colors you're going to see are what I call the oh shit colors because when you do them accidentally on your chisel at the grinder, that's usually the words that come out of your mouth. So uh, they're the rainbow of colors that you, that you don't want to have happen when you're grinding a piece of steel. And so the rainbow is real compressed. It's right there. It's very small. But that's the rainbow we're talking about. If I try, I can extend that. And then the next step is it'll start to glow red. That carbon burnout risk that I mentioned earlier starts to happen just about now as it's just starting to glow. But we're not even near the temperature yet. So there's, this is all about trying to hurry this up. And by the way, I'm only going to do a, a half inch or so of this because otherwise it just takes too long and it's hard to do. Okay, there's a dull orange, and then it makes a leap to a much brighter color right there. Now, before I quench it, I'm going to touch it to the magnet, which is sticking right here. No magnetism. And there we go. Sorry, I promised smoke, and there wasn't even any smoke. I know. Okay, now it's still pretty hot. Now, in order to temper this, we want to run it to about 325 degrees. We can use that rainbow of colors. To, the, each, each different color represents a different temperature uh, on the surface of the steel. The problem is 325 degrees, which is our target goal to make a Rockwell hardness of 62, which is what we've been using for uh, hawk blades forever. Um, 325 happens just before that rainbow of color starts. The, the lightest color is called light straw. I'm dawdling because I want it to cool down a bit because I have to handle it. So I'm just scrubbing this up enough so that I can see the colors. Start this guy back up. Now I'm going to heat it back here a ways and let the colors, let the heat run down to the uh, tip. Okay, I'm stopping there.
So we now have a piece, and uh, this part is still soft because we didn't do it, and this part is hard, and you can hear the difference in this file. If I tried to file this, it would damage the file. So that is a piece of hardened O1.